Hello there. I have a quick video tutorial here to show you how to copy a blade profile from one CFX lightsabers config file to another. So I've got right here a freshly unzipped CFX default package. And we want to go in and we want to open up the config file. This first block of text is all the universal settings that are going to be in play no matter what profile you're on, like volume and the LED strip, which we actually want to change this LED strip setting from zero to however many pixels are in your NeoPixel blade, in my case 135. We want to scroll past these motion settings to get to our profiles, starting with profile zero. Scroll all the way down, and we see we have these blank profiles here. And each of these has two of these pound signs, which designate it as a comment line, so it's ignored by the code. So if we want to use one, we have to get rid of those. And now, let's find some profiles. I'll have these linked in the description, and I made this spreadsheet to keep track of them all. So let's pick one out, let's say the fast rain. Let's go with the fast rain. It's profile 16 in my config. So we're going to go over to this config file and we're going to find profile 16. profile 16. And what we want to do is copy everything in that block of text under profile 16. And then bring it over to our config and paste it under profile 1 here. You want to make sure that you still have a space before the next line there. So there, now we have a fast rain profile in profile number one. I'm going to close that and save it. And what if you want to actually use this profile? And so let's open up one of our fonts, say this Camino one. And we want to open up our font config file. And under that we have a start blade line this defines what profile that font is going to start up as every time you go to that font. So right now it's set to negative one, which means it does not have a default. And we want to change that to one so that it always starts up with a rain profile. It's as simple as that. So let's try one a little less simple. Say we want to use one of these waves. The way the wave profiles work is they use the main color and the flash on clash color. So you'll have to have another color profile in order to make these look really good. Otherwise you're just going to have the flash on clash color which is usually a white or a light blue. So let's take the slow wave forward, number 23. back to our main config and we'll paste that under number two. Making sure we keep that space. So now that profile two is a wave. We need to make a color profile that we want to use with that wave. So in our colors.txt file, we have 13 colors right now. So we just want to add another one right here. And we want to make that number 14. So right now it's set to red, full, no green, and a little bit of blue. 
let's say we want to do a red and blue wave. So we'll set that to zero. And then we want to set each of these to zero so that our flash color is a blue RGB. And now color 14 will be our red and blue color. We save that and close it. And let's pick our, let's say the nebula. We want to open our font config in Nebula and change both the blade profile and the color profile. So now whenever we open Nebula, it will open up with a red and blue wave. So now you know a little more about CFX profiles.